Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to review the new Urban Decay Afterglow palette that's just recently come out. Um, it has four shades which are on the back there. Um, as you can see I've not got any glow on my face at the minute so I'm actually going to apply one or two of these colours on my face today just to see how they are. If you want to see this video then continue watching. So this is how the packaging comes so it's got the like ripply effect and the holographicness in the packaging which is quite cool um so it just says urban decay afterglow palette and we'll just open it up this is the component of the actual palette it's got the same effects as the unicarton it's got a little ud right there which is quite cute and let's open her up. When you open it, here are your four shades and you do get a mirror on the top of the lid. So the four shades are Bliss, Peroxide, NS, NSFW and Side Piece. I'm just going to do a quick swatch over the colours on my arm. So I'll show you the swatches. So, Bliss, I don't know if you can see that. It's quite light. Um, do another one. Right, so that's Bliss there. So it's like a goldeny champagne colour. Then Peroxide, which looks pink in the pan. It does translate as pink as well on my skin and in certain lights when you twist my arm you can see more of a pinky colour. Um, it sort of has a duochrome, like it's got the pink, dark pinkish base and then the icy pink on top. NSW looks like a peachy bronze. Ooh, that one looks duochrome as well. So again, that one's got like a golden base then has that peachy tone afterwards and then side piece which looks like a straight up gold yeah so that one's a bit more goldier and a bit more deeper than bliss so as you can see that one's more sh like a champagne gold no like a vanilla a vanilla shade and that was more champagne gold i've just applied the same colors onto my hand so we got bliss peroxide nsw and side piece there now looking at the shades i think i'm more towards the bottom two so nsw and side piece I think I'm going to go for NSW first. I'm going to pick up my setting brush. Ooh, it's quite pretty. It does say on the back of the packaging that they are softly milled. And you can definitely see that because it looks very smooth on the skin. I'm just using my viewfinder from my camera to apply these on. Put a bit down the bridge of my nose. And a bit on my lips. Oh, that looks quite pretty. I like that a lot, actually. It goes very well with my makeup. I'm going to put side piece just on the tops of my brows. My beauty blender and just have that in a little. That is the highlighter. I quite like it actually. It is very blinding. 
I love the NSW colour, that's very pretty. Overall, I like the pigmentation of the highlighters. They, I don't think the swatches on my hand do them justice, but physically putting them on with a brush and on the face, they are very pretty. So I did put side piece above my brows and I put NS, NSFW on to my cheeks and down my nose. I got lips it right there. I'm actually put a bit on my inner corner, going with bliss on the inner corner of my eye. Bring some light there. Ooh, that's pretty. Try not to stop myself. That's quite pretty actually. I think with the peroxide one, because it's quite pink, I would use that as more of a blush topper. Just a little bit so it gives it that little bit of a sheen and makes your cheeks a bit more rounded. But I brought this from Debenhams in store and this actually retails for £27, which I think is quite good. Um, it's, I think it's very affordable because seeing as you get like four shades right there and they're universally going to suit every skin tone. So more like for these ones at the top for like your medium, for your like to medium skin tones and the ones at the bottom for your medium to dark skin tones. But I think I could actually get away with using all four of these. Um, if I want like that intense highlighter then I'd go in for Bliss. But I think on a regular basis, I would go for these two at the bottom here. And I did use this on the inner corner of my eye. I keep looking at the viewfinder, not the camera lens. Um, See, so I think this is approved by me. Um, I would definitely go out and buy this if you haven't already. As you can see, it's that very nice, like, wet kind of highlighted look. Very pretty indeed. So yeah, if you enjoyed watching this um, first impressions review kind of thing, then give this video a thumbs up and leave any comments down below on what else is coming out that you would like me to review and I'll try my best to do that. And subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!